how many hours should you study taking the first example of the wide majority of my audience when it comes to competitive examinations 10 hours of study is considered to be decent 16 hours i've seen so many people preaching 16 hours still even though my reel of just slamming everybody who says 16 hours got millions like above 30 million views or something like that still people got the guts to say that uh it is abnormal i've done it it is not practically possible it does not help you uh, you are not efficient when you are studying that much you're basically hurting yourself you might create a permanent damage in your body which i like avoided with a very slim clearance if you don't know i have tried that with four hours of sleep and i did that for a complete month and it train wrecked my entire body i'm sure that if i did it even like 15 days more that would have caused some severe problems now i i don't think you should aim to study 16 hours and a lot of people who are aiming for that that it, that cannot be effective 16 hours now when i say 10 hours that is effective 10 hours and oh i forgot mentioning this because i know some people have already written like 10 comments down in the comment section saying that i was cool i have a college i have a job man when i say 10 hours it is when you have a full day in your hands it might be a saturday it might be a sunday it might be christmas it might be holy it might be diwali whatever it might be and you're so holy and diwali i have to celebrate now you don't have to you might want to but you don't have to so don't say you have to until unless you have to and i'm going to get to that as well how to manage your social life and how to deal with all those things and everything will be practical like i said i i don't want to give you it depends and be yourself answers so a lot of things might not be like absolutely correct and freaking medically correct and politically correct but i'm going to say things according to what students in this country might have to do when they are preparing for competitive examination along with their school along with their college or along with their job it is not something it's not a lifestyle it is not a way of living but you might have to do that and till what point your body just might be okay and how to find out that limit those are the things that i want to discuss over here again coming back to the point how many hours should you aim to study because when you are creating a daily routine that has to come with what are you aiming towards so what i've done myself in a very healthy manner which i found to be very sustainable was 10 hours of effective study and like i said i shoot it for 16 hours but when i actually started calculating of how many hours you can effectively study with you being able to retain whatever you have studied and you not losing motivation and interest in what you are studying then it turned out to be 10 hours for me now it might be different for you and i don't want to give you a depends answer so i'll tell you how to calculate it all right but like i said i'll tell you how to do it by showing you how i did it so i was very enthusiastic and passionate about mechanical engineering when i got into college and that's the whole reason why i chose mechanical engineering even though everybody else was telling me to take computer science engineering i i could have easily done that because my cgpa was very high after first two semesters but i chose not to do that because i was very interested in mechanical engineering i've talked about this multiple times so i'm not going to drag you about it but the point is i was very passionate about it but when i was doing the 16 hours and then i'm going to study more than everybody else then what ended up happening is that i lost the interest and passion and studying was just forcibly every time it was forced and i was not enjoying it and that way it was not sustainable at all and that is another reason why you should not be studying uh, or aiming to study those 16 hours now when i decided to study for 
like effective 10 hours and this is the exact routine that i followed when i cracked baba atomic research center when i cracked indian space research organization two of the most difficult jobs in this country to get and also two of the most stringent interviews when it comes to technical background and engineering and i was studying not more than 10 hours and i know that because i was calculating it so at that time i was following a method called pomodoro technique and i've talked about this many times one of the most popular videos on my channel is on pomodoro technique i've made it in both hindi and english i'm not going to repeat the whole technique and the limitations and what you should do to apply it in your current situation but all i'm going to say is that this whole technique is based on the idea that you lose your attention as time passes by and you lose your attention as soon as 30 seconds and that happens your brain is that creative your brain is that fast or your creativity is that versatile you just think about different things and the hardest thing in this world to do is to control your mind but you can continuously practice to do that and the method for that is that whenever you are distracted you have to voluntarily bring your mind back to the point you are trying to focus at that point i've made a video on concentration i'm going to link it down in the description box you can check it out later but the main idea about pomodoro technique is that you are constantly losing attention and beyond certain amount of time you kind of lost it entirely and this technique based on study and this is not a new technique this is i think somewhere in the 18th or the 19th century developed in italy for the first time if i'm not wrong i'm going to confirm it on the screen obviously now this technique establishes that 30 minute is the mark beyond which your concentration is completely gone now it is again like a curve right and beyond a certain point there's not even a drop this is the lowest your attention is ever going to be now if you're going to just study for 30 minutes you're not going to be achieving anything you're not going to be learning anything but this technique is not like just study for 30 minutes it's like study for 30 minutes and then take a break and again i got a question like when i take a break i don't come back like where do you go really because when you take a break you're not supposed to go and roam around the way that i did it is that i will be sitting over there itself sometimes i used to listen to music sometimes i used to play a game if if there was a quick one obviously and more importantly there would be an alarm that would ring after 5 minutes so that is how you really do pomodoro technique you don't just get up and just go somewhere and roam around and talk to people this break is for your mind for your mind to recover and get to a higher level of attention when you get back so pomodoro technique sessions of these like 30 minute sessions 25 5 25 5 these actually last for two hours you will have four sessions 25 5 and total that would become two hours and after these two hours you are going to have a 15 minute break and in this 15 minute break you are really free to roam around you're free to touch your phone scroll around respond to messages call back people although people who are preparing for competitive examinations don't really have that much calls because nobody likes you and also you don't have friends <laughs> i'm just kidding no you really don't have friends man uh, if you're really preparing for competitive examinations you might have but then again you're gonna lose them all okay coming back from that depressive state so um you're actually studying for two hours it's just that you're taking a minor break for three times and those three breaks are just for you to enhance your attention so you got an effective two hours minus 15 minutes as 105 minutes and this is your effective time of how much you actually studied and like that after 15 minutes you can come back and then again study for two hours out of which only 105 minutes would be effective so 
that's how Pomodoro technique is supposed to work. And if you are studying in sessions like this, then with experience, I can say that if you are having a full day, then you will be able to study for around 10 hours in a sane manner. And what you are going to learn is going to be retained by your mind. 